upon a time in a peaceful little village, there lived a man called Saul the Dreamer. Saul had a free and roving spirit, an adventurous disposition, and an open and friendly nature. One day Saul met a pilgrim. The pilgrim told Saul fascinating tales of a faraway kingdom, a land where no one had ever heard of onions. A whole kingdom without onions, you say? Now how can anyone enjoy food without onions? His imagination fired. Saul was ready with an idea. I will treat them to their first taste of this vegetable. He loaded his wagon with sacks of onions and set out on his long journey. The kingdom was far, far away, and he traveled many months to get there. On arrival, Saul the Dreamer wasted no time admiring the golden towers of the magnificent city. He headed straight for the royal palace and presented himself to the king. Your Majesty, I have come to introduce you to a new vegetable, the king of the garden, the onion. It has a unique flavor and will improve the taste of all food beyond belief. Your Highness, I urge you to try it. The king gave his consent. Very well, I shall try your onions. But if this strange plant should prove distasteful to anyone, I shall have you beheaded. A formal dinner was prepared featuring the onions. The nobility of the mighty kingdom, as well as the common folk, were ordered to attend. As night fell, a delicious fragrance wafted from the palace kitchens, and the guests gathered with great anticipation. Saul was ordered to be the first to sample the food. Then the guests had their turn according to rank. Finally, the moment came. The king himself tasted the onions. Everyone agreed. The food was delicious. It was a great discovery. Eagerly, the king bought the whole wagon load of onions for himself, paying Saul their weight in gold. More than content, Saul headed home. When he arrived, his friends joined in celebration of his good fortune. Saul the Dreamer never tired of telling his story of the generous king of the land where gold was cheaper than onions. Overhearing all this, the sly Eli had a plan. He vowed to win an even greater fortune than Saul's. Garlic is not only more expensive but infinitely more fragrant than onions. I will sell some garlic to that king and shall accept nothing less than diamonds in exchange. He quickly gathered a cartload of garlic and left without even saying goodbye. He followed in the footsteps of his lucky neighbor. As Saul had done before him, Eli succeeded in convincing the king to try his delicacy. Eli had predicted correctly. The garlic was relished by all, even more than the onions. The aroma was simply superb. They'd never tasted anything quite so delicious. The king wanted to reward Eli fairly for the divine food, and mere gold just would not be adequate. His payment should be the most precious commodity in all the kingdom. And so, Eli started his homeward journey with the most valuable item in the king's treasury. A cartload of onions.